guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another week of what's for dinner. If you're new here, I do these every week, so make sure you subscribe so you can see them all the time. Oh my god. This is Andy. That's my husband. He's insane. Making crazy faces. Anyways, for dinner tonight, we are having spaghetti. Um, a couple weeks back, he tried the spaghetti squash for the first time. Just nom, 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 Well, he didn't try it for the first time, but he tried that instead of noodles completely for the first time. He's eaten it like mixed together before. But he liked it, and he said he wanted it again this week, just spaghetti squash. So, we have two itty bitty baby spaghetti squashes that I made, and yeah, um, there's my plate with some spaghetti sauce and some marinara, marinara sauce from Aldi, and Jimmy Dean sausage instead of ground beef, and then we've got some garlic bread that I bought on Markdown at Walmart, and then I did make regular noodles for the kids, so there's some in there. But I do mix some squash with it. You can't really tell because it's all mixed together. But there is squash in there for them because they will eat it that way. But they will not eat it by itself. But yeah, that is our quick and easy dinner for Friday night. Hey guys, it is Saturday and tonight for dinner we are having tacos. We've got some ground beef that I cooked up over here. Some of this rice. Those of you that have been here a while are probably sick of me talking about it. It's the Uncle Ben's flavor infusions for those of you that don't know. It's delicious, so that's why I keep talking about it. And then some black beans cooked with some taco seasoning. I'm actually not eating right now because I had a late lunch. I didn't eat till 3. So it's 6 o'clock now and the kids are hungry. So they are eating. There's their plates. Uh, chips, which are just crushed up hard shell tacos. Elijah has a soft shell. Lily has a hard shell with just cheese. And that is what's for dinner for Saturday. Hey guys, it is Sunday. And tonight for dinner we are actually having a new crock pot recipe that I tried. It's called crock pot lemon garlic butter chicken and I meant to show you guys me putting it together this morning but like since I did it in the morning I never remember to like bring out the camera when I do it so I'm gonna try to be better about that and show you guys how I do my crock pot recipes this one was pretty much just throw everything in the crock pot it's chicken thighs um lemon juice and like a bunch of seasonings and some chicken broth and I cooked it in high for a couple hours because they were frozen chicken thighs. And then I cooked it, I just left it on low for a couple hours until we were ready to eat. And I shredded it up and it had like a sauciness. And I added some cornstarch and water mixed together to like thicken it up. And then I made some fettuccine noodles on the stove and added them to the crock pot. So of course, like any other crock pot recipe, it doesn't look super pretty but it does taste good. So these are the kids' plates with the fettuccine noodles and a lemon on the side if they want to squeeze it on there and I made some green beans. And then we actually had a whole spaghetti squash left from when we had spaghetti the other night. So I actually took one half of that, heated it up, and then took some of the chicken and the sauce before I added the noodles and put that on my spaghetti squash. And then I've got green beans on the side and a lemon. And that is our dinner for Sunday. Hey guys, it is Monday and tonight for dinner we are having barbecue pulled pork sandwiches. I had a little piece of a pork loin in the freezer. So I threw it in the crock pot this morning with some barbecue sauce. I just used the hickory smoke craft one and then it was done shredding it up. So I've got that on here with some regular barbecue sauce, a little hamburger bun. And then this is the Lidl white cheddar pasta and shells. Um, I tasted the sauce, it tastes really good. We had the regular cheddar one too, and it's really comparable to Velveeta, even more so than the Dollar Tree one. And this one is actually cheaper, so if you have a Lidl near you, I think it's like 89 or 85 cents for the box, which is really good. And then me and Elijah are having some salad with ranch, and I have tomatoes and everything seasoning on there. Elijah does not. But, and then Lily has some tomatoes. And they have cheese on their sandwich because that's how they like it. Yeah, that is what's for dinner for Monday. Hey guys, it is Tuesday and tonight for dinner I am making something new that I have not tried before. It is cheeseburger wraps from Stacy over at Let's Cook Y'all. I will leave the link to her video and her blog post down below so you guys can check it out. I am going to modify it a little bit. Um, most of you have seen the cheeseburger crescent ring that I make. So I'm going to make the meat filling kind of like that, but also kind of like Stacy's. Stacy has Worcestershire sauce, ketchup, and dried minced onion in the beef mixture. I'm going to add some mustard as well 
and I'm gonna use onion powder instead of dried minced onion and I'm also gonna add a little bit of pickle juice and I think that is it oh salt and pepper and then I'm gonna I've already browned the meat so I'm gonna add that stuff and let it simmer for a couple minutes until I put my wraps together Okay, the meat is done simmering. I have prepared a tortilla over here with cheese and we're gonna try something, guys. It could fail, but Stacy makes these on her like grill press panini thing. It's like a griddle, it uh, does a bunch of different things. I don't have one of those. So we're going to try it in the waffle maker because I've made things similar to this in the waffle maker before. This could fail. I'm gonna try one and if it works, then I'll do the others, but if not, I do have a pan set up ready to go over here to just cook them on both sides. So hopefully this works. I just pulled the first one off. It's kind of toasty and I think it worked guys. I think it worked. So I'm just gonna make one for the kids to split for now and then if they want more, I can always make them another one. Look, cute little cheeseburger wrap. Okay, because it doesn't close all the way, you can see it's kind of like open some. And mine's a little bit fatter than the kids was, so mine's not getting as flat. I'm going to flip it around so that that side can get a little bit more toasted like that. All right, and it's done and it came out perfect, guys. It's just toasty enough and the cheese got melted. I'm really happy my waffle maker worked because that's all I've got for now. So if any of you want to make these and you have a waffle maker, you can use it like a panini press. It just won't have lines. It'll have little waffle marks. <laughs> so we're having that with these, my favorite roasted potatoes. Uh, we had these back on Valentine's Day and they are the best roasted potatoes, hands down. I will leave the link to them down below. And then just some salad with romaine lettuce, some ranch dressing and some grape tomatoes. No salad for Lily salad for Elijah and yeah don't forget to check out Stacy's video on the cheeseburger wraps down below it is Wednesday and tonight for dinner we are having this mozzarella pesto chicken that I make and usually I use regular tomatoes for it but tonight I've cut up some grape tomatoes because that's what we have so we're gonna have that I've got two chicken breasts that I've cut in half horizontally to make four pieces got some mozzarella cheese you can use sliced but I usually always have shredded on hand so I will just put top of it with that and then of course some pesto sauce this is the one from Aldi um, I also really like the one from Dollar Tree it's pretty good so the first thing I'm going to do is spoon probably about half of this jar it's a 6.7 ounce jar on top of the chicken spread it around then I'm going to put the tomatoes on top and then I'm going to top it with the cheese and I'm going to bake it for 25-ish minutes on 375. Here's the finished chicken. I already took out one piece and made me in Lily's plates. So here's our plates. We're having some of this couscous I've talked about it before. It's the Near East brand. Here's the box. It's roasted garlic and olive oil. These are good. They're like a dollar for the box and it's quick. Like it literally takes like five minutes to make. So we've got that. And then I'm having salad with ranch and everything but the bagel seasoning. And I've got some stuff for Andy to have a salad. Elijah actually went with Grandpa to, for dinner tonight. So here's Lily's plate. Some chicken cut up. She won't. She doesn't like cooked tomatoes. So I gave her some non-cooked tomatoes, some fresh tomatoes. 
and couscous, and then salad stuff for Andy, croutons, Italian dressing from Olive Garden. I used ranch, mozzarella cheese, romaine, and tomatoes. And that is our dinner for Wednesday. Hey guys, so I just wanted to go start filming our dinner for tonight and I realized that I did not end this video or even show you what we had for dinner last night. Last night my sister came over and I made homemade pizza, I made pepperoni for the kids, and I made ham, pineapple, and jalapeno for me, my sister, and Andy. And we ate that and watched Grey's Anatomy and I was like in a rush trying to get the kids to bed before the show started. So in that rush, I forgot to film our dinner. But yeah, that is it for this week's What's for Dinner. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!